Holly McIntyre with Data Dog Marketing, and I'm here with Judy's Holly in the cubicle for our Cubicle Chronicles. We're in week three of our artist and residence of um, Inside the Artist Cubicle. So Judy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, how are you, how are you enjoying your time so far? I'm loving it. Good, good. Um, so tell me about your work a little bit. You work in collage mostly. And how did you get started in that? A friend of mine was doing gallery night a few years back and asked me to share a space with her. And after some talking... <laughs> she talked you into it? <laughs> right, yeah, right. Didn't think that would happen. Um, so I gave it a try and it was very successful. And then apparently someone who had purchased a piece that night hung it in their cubicle at work and someone saw it who was forming an art gallery and called me. And oh. That's that's a great story, and you know it starts with a cubicle almost. Right. So yeah. hey, it's very apropos. So. so Judy, we've got a lot of your materials here, and it looks like we've got a work in progress. Where do you get your uh, your pictures and your images from? Most of it is from old books, um, old calendars. I visit a lot of estate sales and used stores. Yeah, it definitely has a vintage look to it. So do you? Try and stick to a time frame, or it's more just inspiration. And what it's you just inspiration. Um, maybe a piece like this will just inspire me, which it usually does. And then maybe colors will come together, although they don't tell a story. It's just a fun, I, inspirational I piece. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got art is fun. You got to have fun, or you should, probably shouldn't do it. So there you go. Very cool. And these are the three pieces you've completed. Right. this week, so you're just plugging along here. Hopefully there'll be one more before the day is out. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. And then you can do our paint by numbers. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, very cool. So you work in acrylic and uh, paper, yes. and it looks like you've got some watercolors. It's some watercolors, and it's usually for ketchup, or I use oil crayons, or Prisma colors. Okay. And I use the paints for the backgrounds. Thanks again, Judy, for joining us. We really appreciate having you in our cubicle for our Cubicle Chronicles. And again, I'm Colleen McIntyre with Data Dog Marketing, and thanks so much for joining us, and we'll be back next week with another artist.